Hey, what's up, internet? Welcome to my kitchen net. Today, I made an experimental video for you guys with an experimental recipe. Here's how it looks. This is actually a Brazilian carrot cake. I don't know if it's Brazilian. I have some Brazilian friends, I gotta check with them. But the recipe online says that it's Brazilian. You know, while shopping, it turned out that I bought a whole extra bag of carrots. And now I have a fridge full of f***ing carrots and I have to get rid of them. So I decided to Google something and what I found was this recipe. It turned out amazing <laughs> and I really suggest you guys try it. I hope you guys will like watching this video and here it is. As usual, we start the recipe by taking a look at the table. Here's the ingredient. So you'll need uh, flour, carrots, uh, oil, something like sunflower, canola, whatever, whatever you have. Um, then we'll need sugar, four eggs, and we'll need some baking powder. But I don't know what the hell is going on with people with, with this freaking virus. They're just going mad. Apparently, besides toilet paper and sanitizer, you also need baking powder to survive. I don't know, like. I went around all the freaking stores in my town and I couldn't find the baking powder. So here's a life hack. If you want to survive without a baking powder, what you want to do is you want to take uh, about 7 grams of uh, baking soda and about te 2 teaspoons of vinegar. And then you add them and you'll get a vigorous reaction, you'll see it later, uh, which is basically replacing the baking powder. Maybe not really replacing, but that's the best we can do without a baking powder. Or if you have the baking powder, just use it. Okay, so we start the recipe with the first step. If you have a blender, then just chuck the eggs, the oil, sugar, and the carrots in small pieces into the blender and blend it until it all becomes like a very silky, you know, homogenous mixture. If you don't, you use this and you grate the carrots and then you use a mixer to mix the oil uh, and the sugar and the egg. If you don't have either of them, then just order McDonald's and watch me do the rest. You wanna use the smallest one on the grater so that you get basically the juice and we just go at it. If after an hour of ungrateful grating of these freaking carrots you're still with me and you still feel like continuing with the recipe, then let's go. And also, just before I go on with the recipe, I forgot to mention that we do have some toppings here, uh, which are gonna be, you can make a chocolate glaze if you want, and for that you'll need three tablespoons of uh, cocoa powder, three tablespoons of sugar, and the same amount of water, three tablespoons. If you don't like uh, the chocolate glaze, what you can do is you can take some sugar icing and just sprinkle it on top. Easy stuff. Okay, let's carry on. Uh, now that my carrots are done, I'm gonna go on with making the uh, eggs, oil, and the sugar. For that, I take the egg, all four of them, crack them into this bowl, add the sugar in, add the oil in, mix it all together, and then if I have enough room, I'm gonna put the carrots in, if I don't, I'm gonna put it straight into the flour. Okay, so now the eggs are in, add the oil in. And the sugar too. I'm gonna add half, and then stir it together, and then do another half. Uh, you can use a mixer, or again, if you had the blender, you can just blend it all together. I don't, I'm a loser, but I have a whisk and my hands and some enthusiasm. <laughs> so. Right, it 
it seems like I don't have enough room in this green bowl. So I'm just gonna dump this thing into the flour, the carrots, and the rest of the sugar also go in there. But back to the life hack. If you have the bacon powder, dump it in to the flour. If you don't, then grab something to mix with. Then you take your vinegar and dump it into the baking soda. See a reaction is, co is coming. Mix that stuff. And dump it into the flour. Make sure that you don't use too much baking soda because then it's gonna feel like soda, not carrot. Easy, right? And now, this mixture in, as well as the carrots and the rest of the sugar. Keep in mind, you might have to add some more flour as we go along because if this is gonna be too soupy or if it's too thick, then you add water. Easy stuff. I'm gonna mix it first and then add the rest of the sugar in. Keep it in mind that we're not making a soup and you should not get a very liquidy mixture here. Should be something like this, you know, more like a thick sauce. Yeah. Okay, mine is done. Hope yours is too. Now we take a container and dump everything in. Oh, also, I forgot to mention, um, you want to give it a quick wipe, the container, uh, with foil, so that after your cake is done cooking, uh, it's not going to stick. It's going to come out easily. And don't forget to pay your assistants. All right, so we're going to put this thing into a oven which is at 180 degrees Celsius or about 370 degrees Fahrenheit. And then we put it in for 40 minutes. Here it is, it's done. Um, here's a trick how you wanna check how, if it's done or not. You take a toothpick or something like a toothpick and then you stub it through the middle all the way to the bottom and then you take it out. If it's dry, mine is, then it's cooked. Um, if your toothpick is wet, that means there is some wet dough which is not cooked. So now we're gonna let it chill for like 10 minutes or something. And meanwhile, I'm gonna show you how to make the chocolate glaze, which we're gonna put on top as a topping. Into a small saucepan, uh, we're gonna dump our cocoa powder. Again, three tablespoons. Then we're gonna take the sugar and dump, I'm gonna dump like two tablespoons, not three, because I'm afraid it's gonna be too sweet if I put this uh, sweet chocolate glaze and uh, the sugar icing on top. So I'm just gonna stick with that. And then we're gonna add about two or three tablespoons of water and then give it a mix. You wanna mix it so that there is no chunks and it's all like very homogenous. like this. Uh, you wanna always keep it on high heat and always keep some water near you because as it's gonna heat up, the water is gonna evaporate. And if you don't have water near you, you know, it's gonna just burn. And you don't want it burnt, obviously. You want it all nice and smooth like this. Well, it's not, not, not really like this. This is not done. 
but I'm still working on it. It should not be too soupy. At the same time, it should not be like, you know, <laughs> chocolate or something. It should be, uh, you know, quite thick, but spreadable, if that's a word. <laughs> so almost like, almost like this, but slightly thicker. I think I'm just gonna stick with this. So, quite soupy, but again, not too thick and not too soupy. So here's the result. Check it out. Now we're now this is the cake. You just wanna add the chocolate glaze on top and some icing if you want, or you can do one of them. It is actually pretty easy to make. It did take me like an hour, but it's a cake, right? You gotta bake it. So actively, you'll spend like 20 minutes and the rest is just gonna be the baking time, you know? And now just the icing on top. Here's the final result. Just check it out. Doesn't it look fantastic? I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. It was pretty fun making this recipe. If you want to try it, I really suggest you guys try it. It tastes sweet. Obviously, we added so much sugar. But at the same time, it's vegetables, right? Carrots, healthy stuff. Yay. So, thanks for watching the video. Please uh, leave a comment below if you can. If you like something or if you have to comment on something or if you have a suggestion for a future video, subscribe and please leave your thumbs up if you can. See you in the next video.